At some point in our lives, we all have wished we could go back in time. Meet Isham Fitri Ismail, the man behind the Meme Watchers brand. He is determined to turn back the hands of time. We have an idea on uh, doing counterclockwise watches and why we did it because everything in this world naturally works from right to left. Mm. So our earth movement, blood circulation, even Usain Bolt running on the track is counterclockwise. Isham isn't an archetypal horology enthusiast. Rather, the economics graduate says he and two former partners were inspired to dabble in the anti-clockwise movement after attending a lecture in college which discussed the natural movement of everything in the universe. So when we went back, so we was thinking like, why this wall clock turn the other way around? Okay, so why not we make counterclockwise watch then? And we, this thing is going to be boom because why goes against nature? Meme watches is symbols of uh, braveness, symbol of reform. Uh, people wear it uh, means that they are brave enough to be unconventional. The trio have since parted ways. Isham chose to stay in the business, roping in his father as a sleeping partner. Today, Meme Watches is more than four years old. According to Isham, since its inception, the startup has made close to 10 million ringgit in revenue from both domestic and international sales. Counterclockwise watches aren't exactly something serious watch brands and collectors like to dabble in. So, how did meme watches do it? Isham says it's all about using word of mouth to one's advantage. And people wear it uh, sometimes makes this product like a conversation starter. So they wear around and ask, hey, what time is it now? Can you read my watch? So it's a conversation starter between friends. And our target market would be the young working adults. So the young people are easily adaptable to something new rather than the older one. Isham says the brand owes its success to two things, which give the timepieces a unique and personal touch. We have uh, two unique selling points. The number one is the counterclockwise itself. Second one is the dial. We have the Arabic dial, the kanji dial, which is the new we have launched, and also the normal one. So these uh, two Arabic and the kanji dial, you cannot get it in the watch store. So they only can get with us. Still, converting people into new customers meant encouraging users to get used to reading time the wrong way. We did a guerrilla marketing, showed the wall ticker, the, the wall clock to the client. We made a small contest, so most of the people can't read it at the first time. So they tried twice and for the third time they can easily adapt it. Actually, when you read from right to left, it actually trains your right brain. So that's the thing that we taught the people. So far, Meme Watch's strategy seems to have worked. Till now, we have penetrated 12 market, uh, most of the Southeast Asia countries, and also uh, Japan, UK, UAE, and Nigeria. In total of uh, 14 models, we have in our uh, SKU, and we have three physical stores, which is Cyberjaya, New Central, and Ion Mall Alam. Meme Watches are assembled in Shenzhen, China with parts sourced from all over the world. The tough part of the job, according to Isham, is producing the prototype whenever the company plans to release a new collection. This is because it takes months to build a prototype. Actually, we, we launch our new collection every uh, October of uh, each year. So before we launch our product, we're going to produce our prototypes. And the watch movement itself is from Miyota Japan. So we ordered Miyota Japan, send it to our assembled factory, and we send our product design to them. And then we're going to assemble our watches and send back to Malaysia. But this uh, timeline uh, would take uh, one year to, to produce one piece uh, watches to produce to the masses. So what's next for Meme Watches? Isham says 2019 is going to be a busy year with further expansion on the cards. Uh, this year we're going, uh, we plan to penetrate five more markets which is uh, Philippines, Canada, uh, Australia, uh, South Africa and Turkey. So we're going to focus more on export activities 
and to go more aggressive on the market we have penetrated. Uh, we're going to come up with a new physical store, we're going to go for uh, spend more on NNP, stuff like that. We have a new collection coming out on uh, October, maybe with a uh, hybrid smartphone, uh, hybrid smartwatch, or we're going to come out with a sport addiction. We wanted to be a global brand, something like Coke, uh, we've seen everywhere in the world.